Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Xbox One tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to multi-stream your Xbox One gameplay using OBS without a capture card. So this means you'll be able to stream your Xbox One gameplay to multiple live streaming platforms at the same time. So as you can see here, like Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube at the same time while using OBS without a capture card. So that means you can have all the perks of OBS with your alerts and chat overlays and different things like that without having to have a capture card. Now there are three requirements to this. First, you'll need an account with Restream and that is the service we'll be using to multi-stream. Now they do have a very capable free plan that'll allow you to multi-stream even through OBS and everything, but you will be missing some key features such as recordings of your stream and the ability to remove the Restream logo from your stream. And this video is sponsored by Restream, so thank you to Restream for making this video possible. If you decide to upgrade to one of the paid plans, check the description because if you use my link, you'll get $10 off your first month. The next requirement to do this is going to be to have a Windows 10 computer and download the Xbox console companion app from the Microsoft Store. Check the description because I'll have a link down there, as well as a tutorial on this app that will go through all the in-depth steps for how to set it up and use it for what we're doing. Finally, the last requirement is that your Windows 10 computer will be on the same Wi-Fi network as your Xbox One. And the stronger the connection is with your router, the better the stream will turn out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with how to multi-stream your Xbox One gameplay using OBS without a capture card. So the first thing you need to do is simply go to restream.io, or you can use the link in the description. And remember, you'll get $10 off your first month if you use that link. Once you go there, just go ahead and create your account and then log into your account. Once you're logged in, go into the left sidebar of Restream and select Dashboard. The first thing we need to do in Restream is add the different live streaming platforms that we want to multi-stream to, to our Restream account. So these will be things like Facebook or YouTube, Twitch, Periscope, all those different live streaming platforms. We do that by selecting Add Channel. And this is the very extensive list, over 30 different platforms available on Restream. So we can go through here. You can even do Facebook groups and pages, things like that. They have Steam, tons of different options here. Now it's very easy to connect these accounts to your Restream account. All you need to do is just select one of them and I'll be doing Twitch as an example and then select connect Twitch or connect Facebook, whichever one you're doing. This will bring you to that specific live streaming platform where then you need to authorize access to your account for Restream. So as you can see, they're gonna have this access. So make sure you read through this and then go to the bottom and select Authorize. This will bring you back to Restream, where then you will see that new live streaming platform added to your dashboard under Destinations. So as you can see, I have four different destinations here, and these are all the different live streaming platforms I can live stream to at the same time. Over here, we have some toggle switch, and if I have these toggled on, those will be the live streaming platforms that'll actually multi-stream to. So these two are active. I can turn on Periscope and Facebook, but for this test, I'm only gonna do YouTube and Twitch. Another quick tip up here in update titles, you can use this right here to update the title that'll be pushed to all the different live streaming platforms for your live stream. So as you can see with Twitch and everything, it's gonna be multi-stream Xbox One with Restream. So you can edit that here and then update all the different live streaming platforms. So really that's all we're gonna do right now with Restream. We're just gonna get the live streaming platforms connected to our Restream account so that we can stream to them. The next step is going to be to open up the Microsoft Store and then install the Xbox Console Companion. So we do that by going down to the Windows Start button in the bottom left of our computer, select that, and then just type Store. The first thing that comes up should be the Microsoft Store, so you can just open that. Once the store opens, go over and select Search, and then just type Xbox. And in the results that come up, we're gonna find under Apps, Xbox console companion. Don't do the new Xbox beta. That's very limited in its features. We're gonna use the console companion. So open that up and then go through the steps of installing that. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna select launch. Your first time opening it up, you may need to log into your account. So go ahead through the process of logging in. Once we have the Xbox console companion open, what we need to do is just simply go into the left sidebar and find the icon right above the gear right here. Should say connection when you hover over it and select it. This will bring us to a page that says connect your Xbox One. In here, go up into the right and select add a device. This will search your Wi-Fi network for your Xbox One. And if it doesn't find your Xbox One, 
check the description because I have a full tutorial over this and how to fix issues with it if it's not working. So check that in the description. Once it finds your Xbox One, simply select connect. And then just select stream right here next to your Xbox. This will open up a new window where then we should be able to see the screen on our Xbox One. If you get this little warning right here that says there's no controllers attached, just select continue because we can use our controller that's currently connected to our Xbox. So right now I'm just using the controller on my Xbox and the Xbox is being streamed to my PC. Real quick in here, if you move your mouse around on your computer, you'll have some options at the top and these are kind of important. So this option up here that looks like a microphone, if you wanna get your party chat or any chat from your Xbox included in your live stream, Go ahead and make sure you have that unmuted. And then over here at the right, this little button, the change quality. If you're having issues with it streaming over your network, you might have this set too high. Try lowering it and see if that gets a little bit better. I find that high looks good and it still works great. All right, so now that we have our Xbox streaming to our PC, we can go ahead and minimize the Xbox console companion. And now what we need to do is simply open up OBS on our computer. We can get this set up to actually be able to live stream your Xbox One. So to, in order to have your Xbox be captured by OBS, we need to add a new source. And we do that by going under sources right here and selecting the plus symbol. So select the plus symbol. In the menu that appears, you have two options. You can either do window capture and select the Xbox console companion, or you can do display capture, which will capture your entire screen. And I found that that works the best for me. So I'm gonna do display capture. Go ahead and select okay to create a new one. And then right here, as you can see, it is capturing my entire display. So you can select this drop down to select a different monitor if you have more than one. I'm just gonna select okay right here. So now we have it added. You can go through the process of adding any other things you wanna add like your follower alerts, donation alerts, subscription alerts, uh, chat overlay. You can add all of that right here on OBS. But that's all I'm gonna do just to keep it simple uh, because all we need to do now to capture our Xbox One is just make it full screen on this monitor. Going back to OBS, the next step is going to be to simply connect OBS to our Restream account. And we do that by going back to Restream. So go back to the dashboard. And on the right side right here, you'll see Streaming Software RTMP. We're gonna go ahead and select RTMP Settings right here. In the new menu that opens up, we should have Stream Key. Go ahead and copy that Stream Key. And then go back to OBS. And in OBS, we're gonna go in the bottom right and select Settings. In the OBS settings, we're gonna go in the left sidebar and select stream. What you should have here is service. What we wanna do is select the dropdown and then in service, find restream.io RTMP, select that. And you can connect your account by giving OBS access to your restream account. But for me, it's just easier to select use stream key and then just enter the stream key that we copied from our restream account. Now all we need to do is select apply at the bottom of the settings and then okay. So now you're ready to go. You have OBS set up to capture your Xbox using the console companion, and then OBS is set up to live stream to restream. So now to go live and begin our live stream, all we need to do is select start streaming right here in the controls, and then make our Xbox console companion full screen so that it looks like this. If you have a little bar at the top, just go move your cursor up at the top right and make sure that you select the full screen option right here, these little arrows, and then it will go full screen once you stop moving your mouse. So now when I do anything on my Xbox, it'll be captured and streamed. I'm gonna go ahead and start Warzone. All right, so as you can see, I'm currently live streaming on Twitch, and then if I go over to YouTube, I'm live streaming over there as well. So that's how you multi-stream your Xbox One gameplay using OBS without a capture card. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Xbox One tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.